Hey everyone, hope you all are doing well today. I just wanted to touch base with you. Uh, you know, we talk a lot about food shortages, uh, ammo shortages, uh, materials, prepping supplies. Um, and we've done some videos. A lot of you have great ideas about getting different car parts and things. Well, I had an experience and I wanted to share this with you. Uh, if you could see this right here, my window had got stuck about a quarter, a fifth of the way down, quarter of the way down and it's frozen like that. So I've had that happen before on the passenger side. Uh, my vehicle's a 2015 uh, and it's a convertible, so the motor is always moving up and down when the door opens and closes. It, it, the window uh, opens up just slightly and then when you shut the door, it goes up. So a little motor gets a lot of work out. And you know, about a year or so ago, I didn't have any problems uh, getting a part uh, for the window for the other motor and it maybe took a few days to come in. I set an appointment, went into the Chevy dealer, didn't have any problems. Now, when I went to the dealer this time around, <clears throat> found out that the motor parts and things, and you know, it's under warranty and things like that. However, the part is on back order and they do not have a time frame and cannot give me an estimate of how long it's gonna take to get that in. So with the window being like it is, and I, you know, obviously I'm asking, okay, can you go ahead and permanently put it up? You know, go ahead and lock it in place. <clears throat> and then when the part comes in, no big deal. You know, I don't need my window at that point. No can do. Uh, they say that the way it's a cable system and there's some things they'd have to cut and do that it's not like other windows that they could just set it permanently up and lock it in place and they cannot do that. So then obviously you can imagine my next questions and my next thoughts and realizing, okay, well, what if it rains? You know, this is my everyday drive and I do use this um, pretty much every day. And you can imagine the cold, not so bad. You can just warm the car up, no big deal. Uh, you know, you blow the heat, it's fine. I can handle that, that's, that's no problem. Uh, however, rain, and I've just been watching the weather and the next, few days next week uh, and there's prediction of rain coming in so it just shows you the importance of maintaining your vehicle okay we're focusing on that today because something as small and simple as a little motor <clears throat> it can change your life it can change the way that you drive and have to figure out things and and, and it just adds layers of problems what if it's something more major to your car than just a window motor? Uh, what if it's a transmission? What if it's a seal, an oil ring, or some kind of a, a cylinder or something in the engine that, that goes bad or you know, a part that normally you wouldn't have problems getting a hold of or, or going in and having somebody order it, um, you know, trying to follow the guidelines of warranty and things like that. So what if it is something that's bigger, something that's uh, that's going to be more permanent on your vehicle. And, you know, I talked to the guy, I said, Hey, so, so tell me what, what's up with the, you know, the shortages of parts and, and, and the back orders and things. He said, well, look, a lot of these small companies, uh, that made these parts, um, and it's not just my parts, it's a lot of parts. He says, a lot of these small companies, they're shut down. They're gone. They don't, they don't exist anymore. Uh, he said GM's a huge company. A lot of people think, oh, well, they make their own parts. He says, it's just not true. They don't do that. Um, and that led me to, I, I did, I called GM on my own. And I just wanted to say, hey, you know, you're a huge company. You've got resources all over America, around the world. I said, you know, is there any way you can try to find me a part and expedite it and try to help me, you know, with rain coming and stuff. And again, no can do, <laughs> you know, there's nothing they can do. Their hands are tied. Um, so man, you know, just it's just a reminder that if there is anything that pushes us over the edge this year or anything that pushes us even farther into shortages and things, it's gonna be hard maintaining things and maintaining vehicles especially. And we use them, you know, we're in a society now, we depend on our vehicle uh, for so much. Uh, so look, take a time out. Think about what your vehicle is right now. What, what have you been putting off? 
Okay, remember them squeaky brakes? Look, go ahead and get them fixed. <clears throat> we talk about stimulus money coming in. A lot of you probably already spent it. Okay, I get it. Um, but you might want to consider your vehicle too. Um, it's important, you know, you want to be able to run to the stores. You want to be able to go get things and go see family and and have a, an opportunity to, to bug out if need be or anything like that. So, you know, don't don't forget your vehicle. We talked about the brakes, so don't get your oil changed. I'll, I'll procrastinate. I'll get stuff done later. Don't. Go get a full checkup. You know, well, you know, I might have to spend a little bit of money to have them check up my car. Well, it might be well worth it. Uh, you want to keep your vehicle maintained. You know, we talk about maintaining our bodies, about staying healthy and uh, getting the doctor checkups and things like that. Well, it was kind of getting a checkup for your vehicle and making sure it's maintained. Uh, we've had people give tips about, you know, windshield wipers and, you know, uh, different mirrors and different, just, you know, you never know when something's going to go out. How's your tires doing? Are your tires getting bald out there? You know, you might want to go check your tires. Uh, say, well, I don't know how to check my tires and I don't have anybody to do it. We'll go to a tire place, you know, go to a reliable place, go to the dealer, uh, have somebody check out your tires, uh, make sure that they're, you know, in good shape, uh, that they still have the tread, um, especially with inclement weathers, whether it's rain or snow, you, know, you want to have good, reliable tread, just even for safety reasons. Uh, but again, what if things in society change and you have a hard time finding a tire? Check on your spare tire. Uh, our son, one of our sons, uh, about a week or so ago, had gotten a flat tire on a back road uh, here close to town. And, you know, we went and, you know, we, we were able to get it on a curb and, and up on the flat ground. We could jack it up and we went to replace the tire, got the spare on there. Good to go, right? Uh, nope, the, the tire uh, was losing air out of it. <laughs> so uh, the flat, it had a flat. And so now you can imagine that that you had to take that to the gas station, go to the air pump and get that pumped up. Well, what if there wasn't that gas station? What if the air pump uh, wasn't working? You know, hey, how you doing? <laughs> so I'm talking to my neighbor here. <laughs> I'm making a video. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I got a bulldog. Is it, can I get him on tape? Hey, check out this bulldog, everybody. Hey, Rex. <laughs> Is he friendly? Can I pet him? Yeah. He hey there. Hey, he sweetie. Hi, hi there, sweetheart. Oh. Look at that. Yeah, you're a good boy. Yeah, good girl. Rex is a boy, right? Yeah. Good boy. He yeah, I got him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, ma'am. That's our neighbor's dog. Yep. <laughs> I'm not quite 100% sure. Yeah. <laughs> so. All right, let me finish this video real quick. Nice okay, meeting you. Bye bye. No, you're good. Yeah, I'll thank you for letting me meet your dog. <laughs> yep. <clears throat> All right. Well, I'm back, everybody. So we we're talking about the car, but what a great opportunity to meet a neighbor and uh, an awesome dog. I can't wait to next time I'm out here and maybe spend some more time. He looked like he was a good dog. So you never know what to expect. All right. Be prepared for anything. Head on a swivel. That's what we talk about. Um, so, again, just take care of your vehicle and you never know you know, when a time may come, you, you can't get the parts that you need. Um, and I just, this was a great life thing that I'm running into. So when people say, oh, there's no shortages, oh, no, no, you just, you all are just paranoid and you all just, you know, making up stuff. No, it's real. There's shortages. Okay. I'm telling you, no, can you, can I still go and buy windshield wipers? Well, yeah, absolutely. I can find windshield wipers, but can I go find a motor replacement for my, my window that I can't use? No, you can't. It's on back order. So, you know, there are shortages. So don't let people, you know, run their mouth at you and just say, hey, you know, you're, you're crazy, you're weird, blah, blah, blah. No, that's real. Okay. There's real shortages out there. And I'm just doing my best to share and to promote and to encourage you to stay prepared and to keep getting better and better prepared. So y'all take care and y'all have a rest of the day and I will catch you guys later. Bye now.